And finally, our geeky science. This is an absolutely fascinating story, and it's, it's about hypoalgesia. Hypoalgesia is a decreased sensitivity to pain. Hyperalgesia is an increased sensitivity to pain. And this is, you know, hypoalgesia uh, occurs, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, occurs when the nerves that carry the pain sensation from, say, your skin to your brain so that you can detect it, when those nerves, when the pathway gets interrupted or when the brain gets so occupied by something else that it's no longer paying attention to the pain. And this is where it gets fascinating, is they found that th they did this study where they had people uh, hold a, uh, their, they put a, uh, a device on their arm that would heat up to the point that it was painful. Not enough to injure them, but enough to produce the sensation of pain, right? Like, a, you know, a hot coffee cup, right, up against your skin, right up against your, the, the inner part of your forearm. And then they played music in headphones for these people as they were experiencing this pain. And, what, and, and at first they thought that it would be just the music itself would be, you know, might have some impact. And sure enough, they found that there were some kinds of music that produced a reduction in, in pain. So they thought, okay, it must be the relaxing music or the uh, soothing music that's doing this. And they tried playing that, but it didn't seem to have any effect. So then they went back and looked at which music was producing a reduction in pain in which people and they found that it was when people listened to music that they loved, music that they had a previous association with, music from, their, from sometime in their past that was emotionally meaningful to them. You know, I, I, like, you know, for me, it would be you know, listening to the music from when I was in high school or in college, you know, music that brings back memories of those times, music that has, has a, a very specific meaning. They write, we found that reports of moving or bittersweet emotional experiences seem to result in lower ratings of pain unpleasantness, which was driven by more intense enjoyment of the music and more musical chills. They said that the, the thing that actually, if they could produce goosebumps, if they could find music that would give people goosebumps or shivers or a slightly tingling sensation, it would kill a pain or it would reduce the pain significantly, measurably, remarkably reduce the pain. It's just fascinating. So, you know, time to get out your headphones and your old music.